That night, I decided to rest in my personal cabin after I left the bridge to Anton and Jarkil. At some point, I was awoken by two familiar voices chatting just outside my door. I tell you, it is true. My sources have never lied about anything. You are full of crap. If he wants to be our ally, why has he not made contact with us? Why has he not proclaimed himself a loyalist? That is because he, we never asked for any help ourselves. Are you foolish or outright mad? Do you want to beg him for aid? We do that and he gains the prestige to, co to demand fiefs, governorships, military office. Such things are not to be given to ever Tom, Dick and Harry. Even so, he has proven himself worthy. By waiting for us to find him rather than the other way around indicates that he, above all else, has an ambition to rival the Lord of, of Hiva. It is dangerous to grant power to such snakes. He believes our desperation will open to him the staircase leading to the throne of Sayadi himself. I warn you, I do not attempt to contact with that bastard or you will find yourself rid of that precious little stamp the Emperor so graciously gifted to you. The two men parted ways and disappeared into the dark metal corridors of the ship. The next day, Afendi, the Zupan just called you for a meeting. He says that he wants to share some information that will aid our mission. Then okay, I will go and meet, meet him at once. What in the name of God? What the hell is going on? Ambush! Suddenly you find yourself under a storm of bullets. Your hippas fists shield you from the bullets and quickly drag you behind cover. Guys, fall back to the ships. You make it to the ships with your remaining bodyguards and everyone is put on a high alert. It is clear that the population here is not with your side. Outrageous! The Zupan must be arrested at once! Certainly. Though it is also troubling that the population of this town as a whole seems hostile to us. I fear arresting him may spark a, a violent reaction by the people. We won't have enough marines. We would need to get half of the sailors down here as well. What have you to lose? Force the town into submission, Afendi. The massacre. Your troops attack the town with much speed and force of numbers. They show little mercy to anyone in their path of rage. When it is over, the air smells of smoke and blood, and the only cries of suffering from those few who were spared could be heard. Doubt what we did was right. What is up, my fellow Tarhans? I'm Captain Beans, and welcome to High Fleet Flight to Haravera, made by Shieldbearer himself. The man who I am going to give another shout out because he has actually helped, helped me uh, fix my uh, playthrough a little bit. There was a bit of a problem with the game that could have been fatal but uh, he asked me to delay the playthrough a little bit just so that he could fix it and yeah that's kind of the reason why there was a delay i'm sorry about that but shield bearer i know you're watching so thank you very much for for fixing this uh, thing that you said that needs to be fixed and also some news about flight to haravera patch 1.3 has just dropped and uh, I'll post the link in the description for that, for the Nexus page, uh, in case you have Flight to Haravera and you need to download it. But okay, uh, another thing I also wanted to say is um, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone is having a very nice Christmas and very nice holidays. And I wish everyone a, new, a nice new year. So, yeah. That is my uh, wishes for you guys. Now let's get back to the actual gameplay. We've just taken Lepenak, and because of the event that happened at Lepenak, we cannot repair the lightning, which is sad news. 
That means we are going to have to fight the next garrison with a broken lightning. I mean, the damage is superficial, but I mean, we are missing some components here and there. Ah, the worst part is I can't install things like missiles on this. Huh. Okay, you know what? One thing we could do is uh, refuel li the lightning a little bit. Uh, actually, before we, we even do that, let's send the Silka to the lightning. Because what they are going to do is um, they're going to take Ofrinion together. Because last time I've said I was going to liberate this town in order to get some intel. Uh, mainly because I want to figure out where the two strike groups are. Uh, Tsefeus and Voyar. I think Voyar is still in Bukotina, which is right here, this town. But Tsefeus, I have zero idea where they are. Hopefully, I should be able to use some of the intel to figure out where they are. And okay, let's um, let's get these guys fueled up. And once they do, I'm going to send them towards Ofrinion. Okay, let's send these guys over to Ofrinion. Actually, before we <laughs> before we even do that, let's do some aerial reconnaissance, just to make sure there's no bullshit in Ofrinion, and it's just a garrison there. Okay, it is just a garrison at Ofrinion, so let us send the Mirkinos, which is the lightning, and the Silka over to Ofrinion. These guys should take Ofrinion silently. So, we're going to take Ofrinion. I would like to do this in the evening, though, because the silent strike chance is a little better. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Lightning is silent anyway, so who gives a shit? If we can fight during the day, then that's better, because at least we can see a little better during the day. Alright, so, Battle of Ofrinion. I hope this is a silent strike. Please be a silent strike. Please, 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 please be a silent strike. Come on. It is. Thank you. Thank you, Ishu. Ooh. They have a centaur. That's interesting because I have a centaur. I could have sent the centaur and this would have been a one-on-one one -on -one fight. But no, it's a one-on-three, which I think it's fair enough. Let's go. Cheese for the beans, Navy. All right, Centaur, fuck your bitch ass. And Navarians, can you please shut your 57 millimeter asses up? I'm trying to talk with the Centaur here. Oh, he's sending missiles. How cute! How cute. The centaur is done. And we have two of these suckers left. Nice. Ooh, that was a fat explosion from that Navarian with a bomb. <laughs> oh, shoot these cape pods. Shoot it! Okay. That was a flawless victory. The centaur was probably the easiest guy to kill. <laughs> with the armor piercing, of course. Uh, I mean, okay, less casualties or being able to see when you can't see. I think I like the second option better. Elite crew. I feel like elite crew is a pretty powerful tactic on uh, on the lightning because the lightning moves around so much. There's so many like G forces and it makes your screen black. But if you can see, 
That's actually good. Especially if you're going to be fighting some really shitty garrisons. Oh. oh. Unfortunate. Let's land this guy. A little bit of uh, daytime landing. Ah, the beautiful mountains of Trakia. I enjoy it. The beautiful pixelated mountains. Yes, indeed, we're done here. And let's repair this motherfucker. Come on. Sell the cannon. And... Okay, let's replenish our... 100mm armor piercing. I've devised a little system of... 100mm um, ammo, which... I... Aim to have all, always... 150 rounds of each. No matter what. That way, I always have this ammo, and uh, and because I've set a limited amount, I'm not wasting too much money. So yeah, that's how I have so much prox fuses and uh, armor piercing. Later on, I'm going to buy as much as I can. But I mean, right now, we don't really have such a need for it. Ooh, 130 millimeter armor piercing. That actually looks kind of tasty though, not gonna lie. Let's buy... how many can we buy? No, no, no. Okay, you know, let's buy like... 20 rounds? Yeah, 20 rounds looks fine. Oh, okay. So, uh... Intel. Yes. Okay, we have Voyar over here. And... What the fuck is this pathing? Path Are you seeing this? Like, look. It's connecting from Topola to Bukotina to Valta to Selinum and to Karaayas. Where are they gonna go? Or wait, or is this their, like, path, which they go every 24 hours? I've heard somewhere in Highfleet that, like, strike groups always move from town to another in, like, 24 hours. Maybe it could have been the prologue or some shit. Uh, I'm not gonna use more intel because I'd like to find out where the other strike group is, the Tefos. And you know what? Once these guys get repaired... Wait a second. I just want to figure out something real quick. I cannot. I wanted to go into the shipworks. Okay. Uh... What I was gonna do is... I'm pretty sure I still have... R5 Zenith missiles. I was gonna install those on the lightning. I just realized. Maybe for the next garrison could be useful, but I don't know. We could send these guys to Sintika. And quickly get that stuff installed. But I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I don't think we need, we need missiles so much right now. Garrisons are not that bad as of right now. You just saw. Ofrinian wasn't a bad garrison. Morava, I'm assuming it's also a small garrison because of the small circle, but... Yeah. Let's just get these guys repaired, and I think the next town that we're going to fight is... Morava, I think. Because I would like to get another lightning. Hmm. Alternatively, we could also take Topola. Hmm. Wait a second. Let's look at what Topola has to offer. See if the aircraft carrier is still there. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Oh. What the fuck? 
There is an aircraft and a missile carrier, another one of these, and an aircraft carrier in Topola. And this guy is heading towards what I'm assuming is Sintika. Is it a cargo convoy? Well... Uh, who? what the hell? I'm assuming they are going to reach there in just about 13 hours or so. Okay, we gotta keep this in mind because they have aircraft and if we get spotted anywhere, we're fucked. We're just fucked because there are two strike groups in the vicinity. Two! aircraft and missile carrier groups and one aircraft carrier which if you add all of those up we get a total net amount of a metric fuck ton of planes enemy planes and a literal buttload of missiles that could potentially head towards us uh, <laughs> we are in a pretty precarious spot hmm I don't think getting a new ship is such a big worry. I think we have to seriously figure out how to get the Tarhan from Bukotina. Because, bro, the strike group is there. And they're probably gonna stay there. For as long as, well, they're gonna stay here. Okay. Alternatively, we could just move up to Tolisava. Or Rosan or Rosanki Rosanzi. Ooh, what if we take Rosanzi? There are rare modules though. We could potentially have missiles. Hmm. That's interesting. You know what? Let's sail our main fleet to Ofrinion. Ooh, where's that other strike group? Oh, come on! Voyar! Bro... I fucking hate when Intel does that. Like, bro, I know Voyar is there. And... What the hell is this message? I don't know. I guess we'll figure, out, figure this out later. All right, let's install the missiles onto the lightning if we have those. Yeah, we should, no? Oh, we have sprint missiles though. We don't have zenith missiles. That's kind of shit. Um, what the hell? Can we install more sprints on the, on the uh, Odysseus, for example? Yeah, we can do that, no? No electricity functioning is not possible. How the fuck? You know what? Let's replace those escape pods a little bit. It's okay. I mean, it's fine. They don't need to be in a super safe spot, right? And let's put some sprints. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, Odysseus and the Lightning. Lightning, do you need repairs? No. It would have been nice if there were some Zenith missiles, but apparently there's not. Ooh. Could I modify the Silka a little bit? Could I put maybe an Elint on this guy? It actually would help if I put the... Elint on the Silka, it would actually work. There you go. It's a little heavier and a little slower, but it should work, right? Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Well, we gotta figure out where Tephos is. 
Because I know Voyar is in Bukotina, for sure. That is 100% a fact. Cepheus, I have no idea where they are, and I would prefer to know where they are before I even do anything. Oh, it's already dangerous to be here. Ah, but here's the thing. Uh, because of the event at Lipenak, uh, it's less likely that we could get reported. Uh, because everyone is just so afraid of reporting us to the authorities. Because I guess, in the grand scheme of things, we are the authorities. Let's be real. So, okay, let's figure out... If there is anything in Tulisava and Rosanzi. Let's, let's see. Let's do some aerial re recon. I hope there's no, no bullshit there. But, I mean, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, Rosanzi doesn't have anything but a garrison. Okay, that's good. This is the closest um, rare module station that we could get. That's a strike group in Tolisava. Do you guys think this is Tsefels? I don't know. It could be Tsefels, actually. Because Tsefels is somewhere in the vicinity. It was, at least. And if I'm not mistaken, they were somewhere here. Huh, that could actually be possible. It could be Tsefels. Well, okay. That changes our situation a little bit. Uh, we have two strike groups. One over here and one over there. Now, I don't know the strength of this strike group right here. I'm assuming they also have a Nomad. But Voyar for sure has a Nomad, which has a lot of missiles. And that is why it's so dangerous. Ooh, we really got to be tread treading carefully over here. Look at this place. It's just dangerous, 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 dangerous. We could actually just take over Morava. I mean, it's far enough away from both of these strike groups that we could potentially wait them out from this far away. And potentially we could take Bukotina once Voyar leaves. If they do anyway. Or we could lure them away. Or we could do something extremely stupid and somehow lure them to go to Topola. Oh no, but Top... Oh shit, I just realized Topola is another rare module station. Ah, but then this is not an option because there are just so many aircraft carrier groups over there. It's not an option. What shall we do? This is actually a serious question. What do we do here? Because... Rosant, if we take Rosanzi and we get enough missiles, we could potentially just instantly attack this strike group right here. Kill them. And because of this, we'll raise alarms and Voyar could get lured over to us. Hmm. This is complicated. This is complicated. But one thing for sure is that either Topola or Rosanzi, we have to take them silently. Could we potentially take Topola and Rosanzi, both of them, silently? Is that possible? Probably not, because of the aircraft carrier groups in Topola. They could actually detect my ships and lightning. Rosanzi is only a garrison, so there's a good chance of silent strike. Ah, but wait a second. There's a strike group right here. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. They do have a radar, though. Okay, I think we should be safe if we take Rosanzi quietly and this strike group stays in Tolisava. 
If they move towards Rosanzi, we're kind of screwed. Topola, can we take it silently? Topola. That's a really wild question. It's such a wild question. I need to figure out if we can. The problem is I'll have to wait for my planes to um, get ready again. I need to do one more aerial reconnaissance run to Topola because I have zero idea what's going on there. Have we refueled the fleet fully? Okay. We should refuel the fleet fully if we can. Okay, they're ready. Okay, let's send one to Topola. One more aerial reconnaissance run. And... From there, we'll see what happens. If there is only one group there, we could potentially just go to Topola. Take it silently. If we don't take it silently, however... The strike group is actually going to send a bunch of missiles there. Huh, that could be a problem. Aha, there you go. There's only one aircraft carrier group. Okay. Now, one thing that's telling me is that they have only LA-29s. Which, this enemy plane right here has a speed of, uh, you know, 800. Which is less than the T-7. Which is telling me that this is a small aircraft carrier. It's, um, what was that ship name? Was it... Toy Teuser? Or no, Telemachus? Which one was it? Ooh, one thing I could do is um, destroy that plane and head into Topola with my plane and see what the strength of this garrison is. That's going to raise alarms, but I mean, we're not getting reported anyway, so it's fine. We could just wait it out. So let's go. Okay, a little bit of a dogfight. My T7, there's no reason it should lose against a La 29. Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I guess that's a hilarious story. For me to tell now. Uh, I do have replacements though, so let's send another one. <gasps> Did I send it with the AAMs? Ah, it's okay, it's fine. Okay, this time it should not lose against that LUT 29. Come on. This is what should have happened before. Come on. Okay, what are the ships over here? Uh, I'm seeing... Okay, that's the aircraft carrier. Some armored ships. I see a missile carrier. It's so hard to see. Okay, so what I think I made out from that pile of ships over there is... I think I saw a gladiator. I saw a cargo convoy ship. I saw... The aircraft carrier, it's one of those um, Telemachos or whichever one it is. That only has LA-29 planes. Uh, and there's a bunch of other ships. It does look like an armored garrison though, so we are going to have to use armor piercing for this battle. If we are going to fight them anyway. Which, speaking of, I think we should. Aircraft carriers, I'm pretty sure they don't have any way of detecting us through thermal signatures. And they don't have radars. The cargo convoy, on the other hand, could have a cruiser escort. But who knows? You know what? We're heading towards Topola. I think that's the town that we're going to take. It's close to the strike group, but I think it's worth it if we take it silently because then we can get a bunch of missiles and with missiles we get enough strength to fight back 
before we even do any of that, <laughs> let's actually wait for the alarm to go away. What the fuck? Eland? Ah, I'm guessing it's the strike group that's in Tolisava. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. You know what? I shouldn't be so afraid of that. Okay, now that the alarms are gone... Battle of Topola. Please be a sound strike. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay, it is a sound strike, but it's probably going to be a tough battle. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, I was right about the Telemachus, and I was right about the Gladiator. The other two ships I wasn't able to see in the rain and the dark. So, okay, let's deploy armor piercing and let's fucking go. Let's go, bitches! Come on, Telemachus, fuck you. Fuck you, Moose. Telemachus, telefuck you. Navarians are going to have to be a later target because the Telemachus has planes. Planes can fuck me up. Ah! some of these missiles let's just keep firing at them ooh the gladiator should kill that Navarian oh yes okay that's cool okay gladiator is gonna take some armor piercing too Uh, don't retreat! No! Oh, okay, I ran out of armor piercing. That's not bad. That's still okay. The Heron is weak from the top, so... Mm, yet, we have enough fuel. Топливо у нас достаточно... Literally not using any fuel right now. Cause look, we have three percent fuel now. One percent fuel, come on, die! Oh my god! One percent fuel! <laughs> oh my god, this bat this battle. Okay, that was a good victory. The lightning took superficial damage. Okay, battle scars for sure. <laughs> the lightning took superficial damage. Uh, it's fine. 
But we've got to get this thing repaired as soon as we can. <laughs> we just won. We just barely won. That is... Okay, that's so cool. Okay, let's save the 57mm gun. Because that's worth some money. We could use it for repairs. <laughs> okay, ships uh, of Guria group spotted northwest... No, southwest of city Topola. Armed escort mandatory for all ships when navigating area. Aha. So, wait a second. So the Tarhan is for sure in Bukotina. I'm gonna have to somehow fucking get the Tarhan. I guess we're gonna have to fight the strike group. At some point. Maybe in the next episode, actually, because uh, we've taken quite a lot of time right now to just to take over Topola. I'll tell you what, right now we are going to see what components we have here in Topola. And if we do have enough missiles to take on a strike group, we're going to take on a strike group in the next episode. If we don't, uh, we're going to somehow lure them away. Disaster. As you arrive in the city, you see an enormous black chasm yawning in its very center, the aftermath of a fuel depot explosion. Half the, of the city around the crater lies in ruins, with countless dead buried beneath the rubble. The Zupan begs you to help with the rescue effort. Many people have been buried alive. He needs your ships and machines for two full days. I'm sorry, mate. I cannot give you that many that much time. Sorry, man. The northern fuel depot is gone, he pleads. But there are 6,000 tons of methane left in the southern depot. It'll all be yours, Prince, if you agree as to help us in our hour of need. Well, if I stay here for two days, we're gonna be detected. And you ask me too much, so I cannot stay here for a full two days. I'm sorry. Oh, look, there's some Altair missiles. Yo, okay. H-15 missiles. Altair missiles. Yo, we could actually fight the strike group if we wanted to. That is so good. Okay. Okay, let's replenish our... Uh, armor piercing. Ooh, prox fuses. Uh, no, it's okay. All right, we do have a lot of Altair missiles that we could use to defend ourselves against Voyar. And, but, and we do have a lot of uh, regular cruise missiles that we could launch at Voyar before we even fight them with the ships. Uh, but the thing is, we're going to have to avoid their missiles though, because they have a Nomad. A Nomad is pretty deadly because it has a lot of missiles. But, I think in the next episode, we are actually going to fight Voyar. Because we need the Tarhan, and we need to head to Bukotina. We have to. Uh, for the sake of our campaign, we do have to find the Tarhan in Bukotina. But, uh, as of right now, this is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, playthrough so far. If you're new here, I suggest you check out the Flight to Haravera playthrough playlist over here, right here. And maybe you should even take a look at this video. You know, because it might be cool. And thank you very much for watching and have a nice flight.